Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. So I'll rattle you out a review on this Pelican 14 quart uh, personal cooler. So that's 13 litres for the rest of us in the world. So I saw these online and I read the specifications on it. And a friend of mine regularly borrows my old Yeti Rodi. But she doesn't need the sort of multiple day cooling capacity and complains of the weight. So I looked at the spec specs online and I thought, well, this is a perfect little cooler for lunch taking to the beach, sort of not that hardcore cutting up bait and, and that type of use. So in Australia this sells for 150 Australian dollars with free shipping. Now it has a three year warranty, designed in America, made in China. Comes in a couple of different colours, white, grey, and I've got this one here which is dark grey on the outside, green on the inside. Now three year warranty as I mentioned. Now the Yeti 24 retails at 300 Australian dollars plus it has no dry good basket so it's a much cheaper price point <coughs> now weight 3815 grams on my scales insulation this is the first burner contention now on their website it says 1.5 inches so the Easy, easy enough to measure because the there is tie down points to the inside there's barely an inch there's not an inch and a half so I was a bit nipped about that because the um, I thought it had an inch and a half insulation which is pretty much the most important thing of a cooler now ice retention on the box it says 36 hours below that it says 6 cans and 2 1 pound ice bricks so I'm not sure what that means. Inside, 32.5 centimeters, which is bang on. Yeah, by 18 and a half by 22.5. Outside, 45.7 by 29.2 by 33. So they're all bang on there. It's only the thickness of this insulation, which is certainly not an inch and a half. So it does have an included dry goods basket, which is a real bonus. So nothing worse than soggy sandwiches. It has a padlock staple, it has a bottle opener on the bottom, which none of the Yeti seem to have managed to do that yet. Plus it has a magnetic catch here for your uh, beer bottle caps. So on the lid it's got this little rubberized strip which is removable to hold your sporks or bits and bobs up there. It does have a gasket and you know, pretending like the other pelicans it's uh, quite a good gasket as well but we'll test that. Now, no drain plug. So, simple double click latches, the same as the bigger ones. So, press down, open up. So, solid. Couple of cutouts for cut holes. Now, it does have a, a dry goods sort of storage up here. No seal in here, but it looks like it's cut out so that it'll just shed off the top. We'll test that out and make sure it is watertight. Handy for your phones and bits and bobs on the beach. Solid handle. I don't like the, the newer... Uh, so a solid handle. Locks at the 12 o'clock position. On the rear here it has this little scallop which is just perfect for when you're carrying it to miss your leg which is a problem with my older roadie and my other 20 quart pelican. It does catch your leg and you have to stick your arm out to the side. Now, on the base it, has, it does have feet but it doesn't have the uh, non-slip feet that the, uh, the other elites do. So I'll do some cold retention tests and see how it performs. But I'm a bit disappointed about being gypped on a half an inch of insulation. So with capacity obviously 2 litre milk container won't fit upright, it will fit laying down. And the same goes for your uh, 2 litre pop bottles, that will fit in the base laying down. But the I mean what you expect from a, a 
very, very small cooler. So we'll have a quick test of the sail. Put it out in the way. Get all soapy water. Now for you, those of you who remember my Rody 20 test, it failed spectacularly at this test. And there's a few drips. It's not as good as the Elite. That is not bad. Not bad at all. So if it falls over in the car, not going to be catastrophic. Just a little weep here. But I've seen much worse in coolers. Alright, we'll give that uh, dry goods department a bit of a test. And it's nice and dry in there. Well, that works. So I went down with the local bottler, got a uh, regular bag of ice, which just about fills the uh, little esky as you'd expect it to. The uh, enough room there for half a dozen drinks on top. Which is sort of handy uh, if you're not prepared. Well guys, it's been 24 hours since I uh, yeah, filled it up with a 5 kilo bag of ice and half a dozen cool drink cans. It's pretty warm outside here today, that's the uh, ambient temperature. So a brutal test. Now the outside of this is 32, so it's cool to the touch. So it really doesn't have enough insulation. On the lid there, about 36. 31 so it certainly doesn't have a huge amount of insulation so I reckon about maybe half the ice is gone now normally in one of the other Yetis or uh, Pelican Elites I wouldn't see much ice melt in the first 24 hours but we've got a fair whack there so I'll check back in 12 hours and 24 and we'll see how it performs so I think it's really a 36 hours of the cooler well guys that's 24 hours she's a bit warm out here and this is in the shade nearly 50 degrees Celsius on the black surface that's 44.8 and 43 so there's quite a difference between the two surfaces both in the Sun inside lid 34. So there is some ice slurry left. All right, uh, zero inside. So it certainly will do 48 hours, which is more than it's claiming on the side here at 36 hours. Pretty solid performance. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, the things I do for testing for you blokes. It's pretty cool. So the magnet's just about there. Anyway, cheers, big ears. Well, guys, I reckon pretty good little esky, especially at this price point. I'd like to have seen that extra half inch insulation that was in the uh, descriptions. Anyway guys, <clears throat> if you like this video, feel like subscribing, helps me out greatly, and we shall catch you next time.